Science 3, Quarter 4, Week 6. Today, we are going to study the natural objects seen in the sky during daytime and nighttime. Are you ready to learn? Learning competency with code. The learners should be able to Describe the natural objects that are found in the sky during daytime and nighttime. There are natural objects in the sky. Some objects are seen during daytime. Others are only seen during nighttime. During daytime, we see the clouds and sun. During nighttime, the moon is clearly visible together with the stars, clouds, meteors, comets, and planets. The sun. It is considered as the brightest object you can see in the sky during daytime. It is a huge ball of hot gases. The sun is one of the billion stars in the galaxy. It looks bigger and brighter because it is close to Earth than any other star. It makes its own light and heat. The energy coming from the sun is called solar energy. Throughout the day, you will notice that the sun changes position. It rises in the east and sets in the west. It is at its highest point during noontime. In reality, it is not the sun that moves from east to west in one day. It is actually the Earth that moves Though the sun the is sun. so far away, it only takes sunlight about eight minutes to reach the Earth because light travels so fast. The sun's heat is hottest between 10 o'clock in the morning and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Overexposure to the sun rays can cause sunburn, skin rashes, headaches, and stroke. The sun's rays can damage the skin and can cause skin cancer. It can also damage your eyes. Protect them from the sun. What can you see in the sky during a clear sunny day? Can you see white cottony objects floating in the sky? They are clouds. Clouds are made up of tiny water droplets that stay together and float in the sky. They have different shapes and sizes. Clouds help people identify the weather for the day. The four common kinds of clouds are cirrus clouds, cumulus clouds, stratus clouds, and nimbus clouds. Let's tackle them one by one. These are cirrus clouds. They are thin and feathery. They are formed high up in the sky. They indicate fair weather. Next we have cumulus clouds. They are puffy. They look like cotton balls. They indicate signs of fair weather the third one is the stratus clouds they look like flat thick layers or sheets 
They are low clouds that usually cover the whole sky. They show signs that rains are coming. Do you know this cloud? These are nimbus clouds. They are very thick and are dark in color. They are low-lying. They bring rains. They are called rain clouds. At nighttime, the sky is dark. What objects can you see in the nighttime sky? Very good! Let's tackle them one by one. The moon is blurredly seen during daytime because of the sun's light is getting reflected away from us. The moon is the Earth's natural satellite. The surface of the moon is full of holes and dark patches. Do you know that the moon is Earth's nearest neighbor? The moon has no soil and water. It is round like Earth. Did you notice the shape of the moon? The moon reflects light from the sun as it moves around the Earth. As it does, it appears to change shape. Sometimes, the moon appears as round as a ball or full moon. Sometimes, only a part is seen. Other times, it is not visible at all. The apparent changes in the moon's appearance as seen from Earth is called phases of the moon. When you look up in the sky at night, you will see numerous stars. They are too many. It will be difficult to count them all. Stars appear in different colors. Their surface color depends to their temperature. Blue stars are the hottest, while red ones are the coolest. Some stars are too dim to be seen with the eyes alone. Stars may also appear to form a group or pattern called constellations. Most constellations were named many years ago. People name stars after the shapes of animals or their gods. In ancient Greece, stargazers thought that they looked like the belt of a great hunter. They thought the two bright stars above it would be where his shoulders were, and the two stars below it, his legs. The more people looked, the more other things they saw. And if you use your imagination and follow the stars from one of his shoulders, you can see another group of stars, like he's holding on to something, like a shield. And what are those fuzzy lights hanging from his belt? Oh, kind of looks like a sword. This is the constellation Orion. Next, we also a have constellation that reminded ancient Greeks of a creature that was part man, part horse, shooting an arrow. The Sagittarius. Let's tackle the planets. Some planets are visible to the naked eye. Venus, which is often called the morning star or evening star, may be seen before sunrise or after sunset. This is the Venus. Revolving around the Sun are eight planets. The planets are divided into two categories based on their composition, terrestrial and Jovian. Terrestrial planets, including Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are primarily made of rocky material. 
Their surfaces are solid, they don't have ring systems, they have very few or no moons, and they are relatively small. How about the Jovian planets? The Jovian planets of the outer solar system. The Jovian planets include gas giants Jupiter and Saturn and ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The gas giants are predominantly made of helium and hydrogen, and the ice giants also contain rock, ice, and a liquid mixture of water, methane, and ammonia. All four Jovian planets have multiple moons, sport ring systems, have no solid surface, and are immense. You will notice streaks of light across the sky called shooting stars or meteors. These are debris from space. When they enter Earth's atmosphere at high speeds, they burn, producing bright streaks of light. Comets are heavenly bodies that consist of ice and dust. When they come near the sun, the heat causes the frozen material to change into gas and form stream trails that look like a huge tail. Comets appear as hazy blobs of light. They move slowly from night to night. They point down toward the east. A famous comet called Halley's Comet returns every 76 years. Now, let's have some activities. Activity 1. Not the concept. Draw a line to connect the word from column A to the describing words in column B. Column A. Number 1. Meteors. 2. Sun. 3. Comets. 4. Planets. 5. Moon. I want you to draw a line to connect the word from column A to the describing words in column B. Activity 2. Fill me. Fill in the blanks with the correct words to complete the sentence. Choose your answer in the word pool. This is the word pool. Star, sun, meteors, clouds, moon, and planet, and comets. Number one, the blank is the center of the solar system. It is a huge ball of hot burning gases. The blank is the center of the solar system. It is a huge ball of hot burning gases. Number two, the blank produce bright streaks of lights. They are also called shooting stars. The blank produce bright streaks of lights. They are also called shooting stars. Number three, the blank is the natural satellite of the Earth and does not have its own light. It only reflects the light from the sun. The blank is the natural satellite of the earth and does not have its own light. It only reflects the light from the sun. Number four, blank or icy bodies move around the sun. When they come near the sun, some of the ice turn into gases and develop into long bright tails. Blank are icy bodies that move around the sun. When they come near the sun, some of the ice turn into gases and develop into long bright tails. Number five are tiny water droplets that stay together and float in the sky. They have different shapes and sizes. Blank are tiny water droplets that stay together and float in the sky. They have different shapes and sizes.
activity 3. Tell me now. Write your observation for each object found in the sky. I want you to write your observation for each object found in the sky. Number 1. Sun Number 2. Stars Number 3. Moon Number 4. Meteors and number five, clouds. Write your observation for each object found in the sky.